Pretend that you're driving down the road. All of a sudden you hear a loud noise. It's coming from your engine. You wonder, oh my god, what is that? What am I supposed to do? I can't afford to have my car fixed. Um, it is in my opinion that most people having car problems can avoid heavy costs if they know a little, about how, a little bit about how to fix them themselves. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about simple problems and how to remedy them. Um, I've done a lot of work on vehicles myself and um, I did some research for this speech. Um, I'll talk about them in the order of the vehicle troubles, the symptoms, and self remedy. There are a lot of things that can go wrong with any vehicle. Um, you may have a dirty throttle body or air filter, clogged up fuel filter or fuel injectors, bad oxygen sensor, throttle position sensor, spark plugs or distributor cap and wires. Uh, you might have lower door dirty oil, power steering fluid, brake fluid, transmission fluid, or engine fluid. Dirty or worn out brake pads and rotors happen also. There are times when shocks, struts, and CV joints go bad too. Um, now, here's how to recognize what problems are. Um, if a, you have bad, a dirty throttle body or <coughs> filter, you'll get a loss of power and a rough idling. Um, if it's fairly bad, your vehicle will die at times too. Uh, clogs, a clogged fuel filter or injectors, usually just a filter, will also cause lack of power, rough idling. Um, the oxygen sensor will cause your vehicle to run rich or lean. If it's running rich, you'll use an excessive amount of fuel. Um, if it's lean, you're, it's going to lose a lot of power. It'll also mess up your emissions. Bad throttle position sensor will cause uh, low or high idle. Um, if the spark plugs or distributor cap and wires are bad, you'll get loss of power or rough running, not just the idle. And if they're bad enough, your vehicle won't even start. Um, low oil or dirty. Uh, you'll start to hear a tick, tick, tick noise coming from your engine. Uh, if the power steering fluid is low or dirty, you'll have a hard time turning your steering wheel. If your brake fluid is low or dirty, your brake pedal will be very easy to push in all the way to the floor, or uh, your vehicle won't be uh, stopping very quickly. <laughs> Transmission fluid is low or dirty, uh, it will do any of the following. Hesitate to shift, not shift, be jumpy while shifting, or have a grinding sound. If your engine coolant is low or dirty, your engine will get very, very hot or even overheat. You know it is overheated when the engine dies. Um, it will not start again until the engine has cooled down, so don't try and start it until then because it can cause serious damage if there isn't any already. Uh, dirty or worn out brake pads and rotors will cause um, a screeching noise or brake grab, which is where you're stopping and it'll stop suddenly, let go, like that. Um, and bad shocks and struts will cause rough riding and a bang noise on bumps. And a bad CV joint will cause a knocking noise when you're accelerating or turning. And if it's really bad, you'll always hear the knocking. Um, here's how to remedy. Uh, if your throttle body is dirty, all you need to do is unbolt it, take it off, and clean it with a clean washcloth. Uh, then you put it back on and bolt it back down. If your air, air filter, fuel filter, oxygen sensor, throttle position sensor, spark plugs, or distributor cap under wires are bad.
bad or dirty, all you have to do is replace them with new ones. Uh, for full instructions to do these repairs, buy a Hanks manual for your vehicle. Um, they're about 20 bucks. Uh, if I were to explain all that, it would take forever. Um, for spark fuel injectors, you can buy a fuel system cleaner from any parts store. Um, even a lot of fuel stations in Walmart have them. All you do is put in your fuel tank when you fill up with fuel. I recommend doing this with every coil change. It'll help keep your vehicle running well and prevent any excessive damage. Um, uh, any of your fluids seem to be having trouble. First check what the levels are. If they're low, fill them up more than need be. Um, if they are in an okay range, uh, then check to see if the fluid looks clean or dirty. Uh, dirty oil will be very, very black uh, and, and look dark and lucky. Uh, the dirty engine coolant will look rusty or even have rust fragments in it. Uh, I a uh, if they're dirty, then you need to drain them and fill with new fluids. Um, in the transmission, uh, there's also a magnet that you'll have to replace. It catches all the little fragments. That's what causes the grinding sound. Um, if your coolant seems to be fine, then the thermostat is probably sticking, and then it's more likely to happen than it being bad. Just replace the thermostat. Um, for shock struts and CV joints, I recommend you do take that in because they can be very tricky and they need special tools. Um, so in conclusion, I talked to you about common people troubles, what the symptoms are, and how you can remedy them without having to take your vehicle in. Uh, and I hope that you learned a little about some common problems with vehicles and you will not have to freak out your vehicle does something abnormal.